Hello. HexaX is coming to a close. The European 6G flagship initiative of the next generation of wireless networks is ending its two and a half year long exciting journey. It has accomplished much, so let's hear more about its long lasting impact from some of those who have been deeply involved. As Europe, we have the ambition to lead the standard setting of 6G, to be leading the global technology development for our citizens, for our businesses, and also to enable companies to lead in the technology development beyond connectivity, also towards cloud and chips. HexaX is the flagship project under the Smart Networks and Services Joint Undertaking, so it has the role to develop the first concepts for 6G, uh, use cases, technology building blocks, and also inspire other projects to focus on dedicated technology developments that will be very important for the standards of the future. So what is unique about HEXA-X is that it is the very first research project in 6G where industry partners and academic partners have committed resources to research the foundation for that next generation networks funded by the European Commission. And as a project leader, Nokia took great care to really have a consortium with the breadth of perspectives. We, we have service providers, we have system vendors, we have verticals, we have component vendors, and then a large set of academic partners to really leverage that diversity in the joint research effort. We formulated the, the vision for 60 as well as understanding of the use cases. We analyzed that uh, where do we need to get with uh, technology and where we are and developed and technical enables based on this, as well as uh, published the first end-to-end uh, -end architecture for 6G. So we are at the beginning of almost a 10 years research. So it's really hard at this time to mention that how 6G end-to-end -end architecture would be look like, but there are a few things that are already clear. For example, uh, 6G architecture is required to accommodate 6G use cases and their requirements. There are a lot of emerging services that coming up. In addition to the communication services, we have AI and compute, we have localization and sensing, and this needs to be into the consideration of the design. Last but not least, there is a element of the security and sustainability, which must be as a design principle and not just only adds on later. Well, XX uh, uh, has had a very important role in pre-standardization. We say pre-standardization because we are a little bit ahead of time. Uh, anyway, the role of XX has been recognized very important uh, also in, towards many organizations. Uh, in particular, we opened new groups of study and uh, we have an important impact in 3GPP that uh, is uh, um, the fora where the new things uh, will happen uh, in the future. So we can say that we have uh, uh, paved the way towards the standardization of 6G. While HexaX is concluding, this is only the beginning of the overall 6G journey. The European Commission recently announced the creation of HexaX2, the second phase of this initiative. Once again, Nokia will be the overall project leader, the focus this time being on creating a pre-standardized platform. Thank you for your time. Stay tuned.